Let's ask ourselves, it is only if something is the most important event in the year or month in the year that we will be speaking in advance regarding the preparation of the month of Ramadan. Subhanallah. To prepare for the month of Ramadan, you need to start off by thinking about what it is, how blessed the month is. It's the month of fasting. It's the month of the Quran. It's the month of the sacrifices made by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions. It's a month of forgiveness and softening, seeking forgiveness from Allah and forgiving others. If you have not softened your heart prior to Ramadan, how are you going to be able to dig through the soil of that heart in order to sow the seed of the fruit that you would love to nurture within that heart? When you have not cultivated, you will not be able to sow. You will not be able to reap anything because you would not have sown. So start softening the land from now. Start digging. Sow your seeds. When Ramadan comes, we will water the seeds. Seedlings will grow into fruit. And on the day of Eid, we will pick from that fruit and we will declare the greatness of Allah. Happiness and contentment is achieved primarily by understanding Allah's plan. By understanding you have to worship Allah alone. You have to build a relationship with the one whom you're going to go back to one day helplessly. Helplessly. I'm going to go back to Allah the day the day that your wealth and your children will not help except for the one who has qalbun salim a pure a clean a healthy heart that is free of sickness and ailment and disease and what is that ailment if anyone has worshipped or associated partners besides Allah with Allah they have faltered so my brothers and sisters we have a beautiful month of Ramadan let us seek the forgiveness of Allah now that's how we prepare for Ramadan and in Ramadan we will repeat it and we will continue repeating it when a Friday comes we repeat it when the time of Tahajjud comes we repeat it that's what I want to say today that your preparation for Ramadan is a commitment from now to say I've started it this is why the Prophet ﷺ in the month of Sha'ban he used to fast a lot a lot more than other months it was the run-up to Ramadan the softening, mashallah, we enter the masjid on a Friday, we notice a lot of the brothers reading the Quran. Walillahi alhamd, may Allah accept it from us. Your duty unto that word. And I started off mentioning a hadith that the best of speech is the speech of Allah. The best of words are the words of Allah. Connect yourself to the words of Allah. If you have a very successful businessman, a really successful person on earth, and there are so many names that spring to my mind right now about people who have achieved the millions and the billions and they have a story. They've written about their lives. Many of us would know parts of that story. What about Allah? When Allah has told you that I have sent to you the most powerful message and that is my word. Many of us have not bothered to try to look into the meanings of the word of Allah. And for that reason, we sway from the left to the right, from the right to the left. And we are not connected to Allah the way we should be. I promise you, if you were to make an effort with the word of Allah, Allah will come closer to you more than you can imagine. The closer you get to the word of Allah, the more the doors of contentment and happiness will open for you. And that is a promise. If you have problems on earth, if you have difficulties with your health, with your wealth, with your social life, with your financial, economic life, pick up the Quran and start becoming close to the word of Allah. When you show dedication, you will notice the calmness in your heart, in your mind, in your system, and you will become happy with what Allah has apportioned for you. I remember a brother who complained regarding his business having been burnt down, and I told him, get closer to Allah. Three years later, he came back and told me that was the biggest blessing of Allah. I did not understand it at the point, but today I have a business 10 times bigger than what I had three years ago. Allahu Akbar. I promise you, my brothers and sisters, when you surrender to the plan of Allah and you understand that whatever Allah does, even if we perceive it to be negative, it's not negative. It's actually an opportunity and it's a positive and it will bring you closer to Allah. That's the reason why we have difficulty and hardship, because if we did not, we would not have been close to Allah. Many of us, we are far from Allah when we are in days of ease. Nothing wrong. 
The minute something happens and there is a problem, we say, Oh Allah, for the first time in your life, you are saying, Oh Allah, where was that all the time? Allah says, we loved you enough to give you a problem, to be able to make you realize and understand you have a creator. So you raised your hands. So you said, Oh Allah, so you came close to us. Even if you lost your entire life, the fact that you came close to us, it was actually a bargain. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May Allah guide us. So my brothers and sisters, I call on myself and yourselves to get closer to Allah, to seek forgiveness, to become softened, to improve our relationships with our spouses, with our children, with our parents, with our in-laws, with our uncles and aunts, with those whom Allah has made our relatives and with our communities, with the ummah, with humanity at large, and even with the other creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Improve our relationship. It's a reality. You want to get Jannah, you need to have a connection with Allah and you need to have a connection with the rest of the creatures of the same Allah. That's the only time you really understand Allah. When you understand that with you, he has made others as well. Just like he made you for a reason. He had the power not to make them. He made them. So let's try and understand. We fulfill the rights of everyone. We become better people. We are softened. We work on our bad habits of two different categories. One, the habits of the heart and two, the physical habits or the other apparent habits that people could actually see. In the heart, we have jealousy, we have hatred, ill feeling, etc, etc. And outwardly, subhanallah, the words we utter, the vulgar words, we need to eradicate and cut all this bad. Start off now. Never ever say, I am waiting for this month of Ramadan. I have a big plan because you might never see the month of Ramadan. Your big plan, if it is only for Ramadan, you have failed. Your big plan needs to be now. I am putting it into effect now. And if Allah gives me the life to see the month of Ramadan by his will, by his mercy, I will reiterate and confirm that I'm indeed a changed person. May Allah grant us the ability to change here and now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people who can eradicate our bad habits. May Allah make us from those who can follow the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa May Allah make us from those who love one another, who can reach out to one another. May Allah make us from those who take the message of the Quran seriously. May Allah make us from those whom when we hear the Mu'addin calling Hayya ala al-Falah come to success, we believe truly that that is the success and we go towards it. May Allah not make us from those. May Allah not make us from those whom when we hear the caller calling to success, while we're searching for success, we're walking in the other direction. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the goodness of this world and the next. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallah khairan.